Countdown control. Four, three, two, one. We are. Hello and welcome to today's video. So, uh, yeah, Virtual World. I'm not too good with this deck. Maybe I will further down the line. If anyone's, if anyone can coach me, I would more than gladly uh, be coached with Virtual World. So, anyway, what we are looking at here today is a double Lily, one Lao Lao for the level sixes. I decided to go with them since, well, I can just summon a level 6 either way, Synchro Monster, and then use either Lili or Lao Lao to go into Ultima Zulkin. 
now that I think about it, I probably should have made more Lao Lao since I can just go into Juju, summon Lao Lao, and then get Zulkan out of that. But that's that's beside the point. Uh, we're playing double Nyan Nyan since, well, she's recursing from the graveyard, so that's always a good thing to have. A triple Lulu, since I found that she's one of the most dependent ones when it comes to Virtual World. Uh, double Gigi, uh, since we really like to have our rank freezer and level freeze going either way. Uh, we have double Chuche, since, well, Raigeki Break is always good to have. Uh, also, we're playing Triple Quinlong, that searches and uh, searches and sets and, and activates a card. This is one of the bigger openers uh, when it comes to the deck. And next we have Kowloon, and no, I I missed it. Quinlong is the one that negates, Kowloon is the one that sets and does other stuff, but that rarely comes up. So yeah, that also activates a gate. So, allows us to further special summon our virtual world, either the Maihime Lulu, the Hime Nyan Nyan, or Roshi Lao Lao Kirin Lili, or Quenji Jiji. Next, we have double Psychic Wheeler and Traka. Those are here because we have a lot of level 3s, and they can be special summoned if a level 3 is on the field, so that is always nice. Tracker's effect to boost the attack points of the monster summoned is not that viable, but it has its niche uses. However, Wheelie does effect to pop is much more desirable, if you will. Also, to facilitate all the psychics, we're playing the one legal emergency teleport. Also playing Draw and Lock, but more on that a bit later. And now a engine that I think kind of fits the theme of this deck. They, this, the Supe engine is just here to make level 6 synchros, not not the Moon Dragon, not the Moon Dragon Quilla, but yeah, it's a very interesting level 6 engine for synchro, mostly due to the fact that both materials are Earth, so you can go into some very interesting niche synchro monsters like Naturia's Naturia Dragon or anything else. I'm also playing Ash Blossom because Ash Blossom, uh, Double Imperm because well negation. I'm sorry Tatsum, but I am playing the not proper ratio of Pots of Desires. I am sorry, I will change my 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 behavior later down the line, but for now we're playing Triple Desires and Double Foolish Berry of Goods, so we can send all of those to the graveyard. Well, mostly Chu Chain for long. As for the extra deck, we're playing one Ultimaya Zolkin, and to facilitate that, we're also playing Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon and Void Ogre Dragon. I am playing Void Ogre mostly due to the fact that I found myself using most of my hand during a turn, and then losing to stuff. So I decided that Void Ogre is a pretty interesting thing to play here. I'm also playing one Shen Shen and one Cloud Castle to recycle said Shen Shen. It's a very interesting little engine we got there. We also have one uh, Brionac because it's fucking Brionac. And double, double Coral Dragon since I found myself in because I found that when I made one Coral Dragon with one Coral Dragon, it tended to not stick too long. It would either get solemned or get banished, destroyed, or any other sort of interaction before I could get to Zulkin. So I decided to just go with two, just so hey, I have a backup. The Stardust Charge Warrior to go with Coral Dragon for the draw two stuff. And Jiju, just like I mentioned before, it's mostly here because it's a virtual world beast and it's level 6 synchro. For our Xyz, we have the Nightmare Shock. Well, this is here because, well, as you can probably see, we're playing Zeus, the Sky Thunder. And Nightmare Shark is a rank 3, which can attack directly, triggering Zeus's effect. 
So I think that's very good for that. As for the other lower ranked monsters, if you will, we're playing one Photon Strike Bouncer. Mostly due to the fact that it's a negation. One of the few negations the rank 6 pool actually has. So that's why we took this. We're also playing Jormungandr Generator Boss of Eternity. This is here. This is one of the cards that my good pal from the deck to the YT suggested. And I am very happy that he did. Uh, because this because this has an effect that allows both players to draw a card. And then we can activate draw and lock board, basically locking the opponent from their deck. So uh, this is a very, really quite interesting interaction those two cards have. So I decided to just uh, roll with it and go with just that, because it's a very interesting interaction. And for our final rank 9, it's, uh, it's, it's an interesting one as well. The Nine Lives Cat. And this is here, because it requires, of course, two level 9 monsters, that's rather obvious. However, it can also revive a level 9 monster from the graveyard or one of the opponent's monsters. Why is that important? Since we're playing something like a Shen Shen, Cloud Castle, etc, etc, we can just use it to revive the card. We don't have to pay for Shen Shen's cost to be revived, so that is very nice. Uh, also, the thing about Nine Lives Cat, about uh, this card, that's not its quite a ginormous booty of 3300, is the fact that any monster summoned from the graveyard cannot be targeted. So, if we're able to summon back a Shen Shen, we have a 2800 body that cannot be targeted and banishes everything that hits the field. It hits the graveyard from the field. So, I think that's a very neat interaction that allows us to play some very interesting stuff. I think the Nine Lives Cat will be an addition to most rank 9 decks that I'll ever do down the line. So, mostly due to the fact that it, the monsters cannot be targeted and that the revival effect. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. That, that was a long one. But I think it was quite decent in its entirety. Anyway, I will see you in the next one. Chocolos hang out. Peace!